most documentary makers, you know, balance these movies with the negative as well as the positive. What are the negatives in your movie about Barack Obama? Well, I mean, the negative for me was there were too many accomplishments. Where do you find fault in him? You know, I, I don't. 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 This filmmaker said he could not think of anything about Barack Obama that is not positive. Tell me, if you were putting together a campaign ad, what would you want to be in the campaign ad? This is the only president that has affected my sleep and given me nightmares. I would like a president that allows me to sleep peacefully at night. I mean, this guy, every day you wake up wondering, what's he going to do next? This is a nightmare president. We are five days away from fundamentally transforming the United States of America. Thank you very much, Barack Obama, for me losing my job and 281 of my colleagues on December 15th of 2011. And my friends right and left are losing our job. Thank you. He has helped get our economy where it is and all of us in fear for our jobs and our job security. People are getting desperate. It's very, very sad. As Barack says, a three-letter word, jobs, J-O-B-S, jobs. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Obama, for reintroducing the 21st century version of the Pinto with the Chevy Volt. You know, it was about time we made a comeback in that era, exploding cars. Just overnight here in Lake Ridge, gas went up 13 cents. So I just wanted to thank the president for vetoing the Keystone Pipeline and prohibiting us from drilling in Anwar and all of the other things that he's done to make it possible for $5 and $6 gas. I don't pump gas now, but I remember what it was like pumping gas. Thank you, Mr. President, for massively planning to increase our taxes in 2013 to redistribute the wealth and for taking over industry after industry to turn this country from a superpower capitalist country into a European socialist country. I think when you spread the wealth around, it's good for everybody. Thank you, Mr. President, for setting back our race relations by about 50 years. Thank you for indebting my children and their children and their children. And, and, and the generations to come. Thank you, Mr. President, for your hypocrisy when it comes to the true value of a woman if they're not liberals. You made it very clear how you look at conservative Republican women by not speaking out on any of the hatred that is thrown at them every day of the week. I've got two daughters, nine years old and six years old. If they make a mistake, I don't want them punished with a baby. I got to tell you, I want to thank the president for bringing my family closer together. They used to be, my parents lived in an apartment and my husband and I lived in a nice little ranch house together that we were going to start our family in. Now we all get to live together in this tiny little ranch house. Without the four of us living together, we wouldn't be able to afford to live. We'd like to thank him very much for all the good he's done for our family. I used to be a teacher. Now I do a few hours a week of tutoring, driving around to kids' houses, and it is actually costing me more money to work because of the price of gas now than it would for me to sit on my butt and take money from the government. Obama has brought misogyny to new heights in our political era, beginning with the campaign t-shirts in Chicago. You may remember them, the ones that said bros before hoes. I need you to go out and talk to your friends and talk to your neighbors. I want you to talk to them whether they're independent or whether they are Republican. And I want you to argue with them and get in their face. Thanks for getting rid of Hosni Mubarak and putting in a government uh, that is not our ally, as Mubarak was. And also, uh, thanks for getting rid of Gaddafi, even though we did have him in check. But now we don't even know who these rebels are. Uh, Bashar Assad of Syria and Mahmoud Ahmadinejad are laughing in your face. And also our allies hate us. Have you ever seen Cameron, Sarkozy, or Merkel smiling when they're at the White House? This world is a much dangerous place because of your policies. We cannot continue to rely only on our military in order to achieve the national security objectives that we've set. We've got to have a civilian national security force that's just as powerful, just as strong, just as well-funded. Thank you, President Obama, for helping me to understand the importance of deficit spending, bailouts and big government, collectivism and multiculturalism, oversight committees that are blinded by partisanship, submitting to the opinion of lesser governments, Chicago thugs, green energy, manip manipulating the free marketplace, and keeping a lookout for who the real enemy is, we the people. I am not an ideologue. 
And, and another thing I have to thank the president for is waking me up to we the people keeping an eye on what is happening in the government. If we don't, we are, we are doomed. So thank you, Chris. Thank you, WMAL. And thank you, Mr. President, for opening our eyes. Punish our enemies. If I had to do a political ad, it would be a thousand kids kicking a can down the road. And right behind them would be a thousand kids whistling by the graveyard, whistling God Bless America. And the trailer would be the broke generation heading to Greece. I'm going to explain to my 13-year-old son, by the time he gets out there and gets a job, every $10 he makes, the government keeps six, and you get four. He said, that ain't fair, Dad. Why is that going to be like that? I said, you need to find out on your own, because that's pretty much how it's going to come down. My ad would be a simple one, enough. In bold, black and white letters, 16% unemployment, enough. Remaking of America, enough. Gas prices, 4 or $5, hero going up, enough. Haven't you had enough? Obama. Enough is enough. As soon as I get off the phone, I'm getting in my car to drive up to the Board of Elections because I'm changing my party registration. From? Democrat to Republican. It's taken me a long time to do this, but I'm doing it, and I'd like to thank Obama. I hold Barack Obama and his buds responsible for waking me up. For fewer years. We